for people between three years old and 17. So that means we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, propose uh, difficult tasks for, for this. It should be, they should be a small tasks, very focused and easy to solve. Things like improving my web page or do something with Python, but not something complex, something easy. And well, th this kind of things uh, you can do for learning Python, for instance, or for learning JavaScript or CSS, or just for learning what a metric is and how to compute that metric with our tools, th these kind of things. And uh, what I was thinking about talking to Valerio was doing something like preparing a Grimoire lab environment, an online environment with some toy data to play with. And on top of this, uh, preparing a list of uh, simple tasks. Like for instance, we could uh, upload there some GitHub data uh, we have for, for some indexes. You probably know at this point of the Grimoire Lab, meet, Grimoire Lab meetings that we have two versions of the GitHub index, the old one and the new ones. And we are trying to move for, from the old ones to the new one. So the idea will be something like you have the data there, you have some example dashboards there with the old indexes, and you have also the new indexes. And we don't have any panel for, for the new indexes. So the task will be uh, computing metrics on top of the new indexes. Uh, the task should be really simple metrics like the number of uh, comments or the number of reactions or uh, some tables that could be really easy to, to do. And also other tasks like, well, you have here this dashboard with this visualization, but this is based on this index. And now you have to build the same visualization with this other index that should be pretty much the same, but it's not the same because there's a new one, so some things could be different. And from that point, we could, we could elaborate a lot of, of different small tasks in terms of computing or visualizing this metric or this other metric, or you can build this visualization or this other visualization or modify this or whatever. So the, the only thing we need is the online environment, the data, and probably the, the login for the students. So if someone is interested, we can just send, send them the credentials to access that data and they can start working on, on this task. So that will be my proposal. I don't know if you have any ideas about this, any comments? Okay, I just have to, some clarification. Thank you very much for the detailed explanation. By the way, when you say if someone is interested, is it someone that is going to mentor or those like those who want to, to be mentored? It should be both. Uh, I mean, uh, the people mentoring needs the credentials to go okay. there and help the students, but also the students need the credentials to access the data. And the data could be public or not, but modifying the, the, the environment, the, the visualization inside Kibana, should be restricted only to people with uh, login credentials. Okay. And like for the students, do we have their profile so that based on the profile, we could know which area uh, was strength also, it's so that we, if we are interested in helping or mentoring, we can know where we are going. I'm not sure how does it works. Maybe Valerio is aware of how the students let us know their interests. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I was in, um, so th there was a discussion about uh, GCI in, uh, in the Dual Summer of Code uh, Mentor, uh, the Mentor Summit, sorry. And uh, basically, uh, it seems that there is a website uh, where the students can uh, can log in and they will see the tasks. 
and then according to the task they they will i mean they will they will try to address them and in terms of um profile of the students is like uh, i mean they are basically not really experienced in uh, in coding uh, except maybe some 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 students some exceptions that i mean people that are really good uh, even when they are like teenagers uh, so the idea is, uh, as Alberto mentioned, is to have like tasks that uh, are not really technical. Uh, for instance, uh, um, in this CGI uh, discussion, they mentioned that uh, at the beginning we could have like uh, uh, simple tasks like fixing typos uh, or uh, installing a tool and see if the the installation uh, guidelines are, are are clear. Or we can we could have something like uh, uh improve the header of uh, of files uh, to list for instance the authors that are listed in github uh, repositories things like that and i mean i don't know if uh this answer your your question Anton. yeah i think i got the point yeah I mean, th then what what they said is uh, the task should be kind of uh, uh, uh they should uh, uh, become more complex uh, over time. Okay. So we should have like uh, onboarding tasks, these kind of things like installation and so on. And then maybe, uh, depending on the tool, um, we could have something like uh, something that uh, it tries to mock the tool. For instance, mm -hmm. for first of all, we get data from APIs. So for instance, we could ask the student to, uh, to, to write a simple Python script to fetch uh, information about issues, but without explaining the concept of Percival. So this may be in a next step, if we see that uh, the, the task is well explained, uh, so then we can maybe provide more tasks. And uh, I mean this, uh, we are trying to thinking about uh, uh, this kind of task because uh, in this way, everybody that would like to mentor uh, is welcome because at the end it's really a matter of uh, reviewing uh, things that are not really extremely related to, to Primo or Lab. I mean, the core concept, but more like uh, something that uh, is around Primo or Lab. For instance, uh, in a, later we will check the, we'll see how to deploy an, a development environment. Maybe we could have a script just that clones uh, the repos of Primo or Lab in your, uh, in your machine. This could be like a task that a student, uh, a teenager could do and should, shouldn't be difficult because in theory the task should should last uh, between one or, or three hours shouldn't shouldn't be uh, complex tasks okay i have two questions guys go ahead uh, the first one is when uh, when do we need to have those set of tasks ready and the second one is uh can we use us uh, the main starts of at least the easy, the easy task, uh, something related to the documentation. I mean, like uh, they can they can get a snippet of documentation and and so for instance related to Perceval, so they have to make sure it is working or even uh, finding some some bugs in the in the in the uh, in the English in the English sentences or kind of. So uh, as soon as they they check the documentation is okay. Uh, if they find a bug, they file they file a bug, and if they don't, they 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 go ahead and they they start playing with the tool, something like that. Yes, the documentation is uh, is I mean is really a good entry point. What they mentioned in the, in the CGI uh, discussion, they said that uh, sometimes the students are not really uh, good with uh, I mean at English in the sense they they may be have, like uh, not be fluent. So the idea is to have like uh, diverse kind of tasks. So documentation like fixing typos. But maybe also running a uh, uh, linter or uh, any uh, tool that spot these uh, small uh, uh, defects in the code, like uh, a parenthesis that is not used and so on. So at the end, the idea is uh, to have like something that is easy and can cover different typology of uh, of uh, CGI students. So I can answer your question a little bit about timeline too. So the, I think the general idea was that the that chaos was going to submit under the Linux foundation, you know, they're kind of hosting a bunch of projects and they can put those forward. The Linux foundation was actually hoping to get 
those project, um, whatever, project submissions by yesterday. So I'll send, I'll send an email to see if we can get that done today. And then um, I think the Linux Foundation has to submit the organization um, like request to Google by the 29th of October. So a week from today is when they have to submit. So I'm just guessing that the Linux Foundation was asking for a little bit of lead time with yesterday <laughs> being the, the deadline. Um, but I suspect we can still get some in. It, but it'd have to be probably in the next few days. But I'll send them an email just to check. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Okay, so um, any comments about the, the ideas? Maybe if there are no comments, Valerio could tell us something about the ideas he has for other tasks. Uh, okay, so uh, basically the ideas are uh, kind of like generic ones, like things like improving documentation or uh, uh, running a play case or whatever to check some uh, small problems and then maybe uh, then targeting something a bit more complex like Python scripting. Uh, one idea would be like, for instance, for, uh, yes, for Percival, as I mentioned before, uh, writing a simple script to fetch uh, some data from uh, an API. GitHub, for instance, could be okay, but if, I mean, any API could be could be good. Then, uh, talking with Marike, another idea uh, could be also to try to improve uh, the um, uh, the layout of uh, Astal or uh, or the other tools we have. Uh, so things that should be uh, simple and possibly not really related to uh, all the platforms. Uh, so I can, I mean, today, for instance, I could totally sketch, uh, I mean, detail some, some, some ideas and uh, define uh, some tasks. No yeah, that would be helpful. And also, you know, writing code these days is not just the, uh, the catch, but how to write a readable code, especially for young uh, developers. For example, if we start to write a Python code, the doc string, teach them the best practices, how to name variables, the proper ways of doing these. When they grow with this culture, when they start writing complex function, or functions or classes, they try to make meaningful comments and things like that. It would also be something I think uh, helpful. Yes, I think that is a, a really good idea. And similar to this one is, uh, uh, so I don't know if you are familiar with the concept of uh, Pythonic. So basically it's, it's trying to write uh, Python code uh, in a concise uh, uh, format. Yeah. So one, one of the tasks could be, uh, I, I don't know, submit uh, two, three PRs, uh, PRs uh, trying to change statement in Pythonic, uh, in the equivalent of Pythonic uh, uh, action, uh, statements or whatever. This okay. could be an idea of the string also. Uh, I guess in this way, at the end, uh, every repository, even um, the ones that are maybe uh, outside Grimoire Lab, for instance, the, the working group uh, evolution, I mean, this could be, could be a, a task and then everybody could, could help in this idea. In the sense, at the end, uh, you, everybody could be a mentor of uh, 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 this kind of ideas. Just what they said in this, uh, in this, uh, um, discussion in the CGI discussion, they said that uh, uh, potentially we, we could have really a lot of students that arrive and then try to solve uh, tasks. And uh, for them, it's like uh, a game because at the end they, they are going to be evaluated according to the number of tasks they did. So uh, if we try to define these kind of tasks that uh, potentially are like uh, infinite and they don't cost uh, too much time for us. I guess this could be a, a good entry point, at least for this first edition of uh, CGI. Then maybe next year, uh, when we have a bit more knowledge, we can try to improve things and try to add something a bit more uh, like uh, uh, mature for these students. I, I don't know what you think about this.
I think all of them agree with you, <laughs> Valerio. So, so I will okay. say, yep. I was just gonna say, yeah, I mean, I think they're good ideas. And if you take a look at that wiki that was posted, I think in the chat, um, Benu, did you post it? I'll post it. Sorry, I'll post it. Oh, wait, yeah, the bottom one, the wiki page. You'll get an idea of how to structure these things. So, I mean, they just, some of them just point to issues. Some of them just give like a one sentence overview of each of these things. So I think maybe the point being, you can do a lot of tasks. Like open print has a bunch. Anyway, that was all I wanted to say. Yeah, thanks, because there are a lot of examples here. So if any of you have any doubt, you can go here and have a look at the examples. And they are also categorized, so it's interesting to to get some ideas. For instance, I, I I'm having a look here to the twenty first that says write test cases for driverless print, driverless print. Sorry. So, well, this is another idea about code. Just trying to get some test cases, some simple test cases that we are missing. And of course, there are a lot of user guides and documentation pages. And about code, I think most of the things that were mentioned today are also here within this uh, set of examples. So, well, I think we have, we all have the, the idea for this. I think we have the some things to to propose so the, my next question will be about my idea of building or deploying a, a dashboard for the students do you think this is feasible or maybe this is this will be a problem because maybe if you see this problematic we should forget about proposing creating visualization or visualizations or metrics or whatever, unless we have um, an easy procedure to create the, the dashboard locally. What do you think? Maybe Luis, you are one of the persons that could uh, give us your point of view. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, well uh, I, I think this is something we, we could do in, in Viterja. So we could provide this dashboard. And related to the to the number of 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 tasks, I will say that uh, uh, I had the impression that we need we need a, like a fifty or one hundred, but maybe we can we can stick to have like twenty, uh, given the time frame. So related to the to the to visualization to visualizations, and that's all because if not, we are not going to have time to do that. So, but related to the to the to the dashboard. Uh, yeah, I, I think there is no problem in providing one with kind of uh, anonymized data, or at least uh, data where the names are not are not real names and, and so on. Okay, so um, are there any other ideas for tasks? Yes, I'm posting some, some of them in the document that uh, Matt has shared about the, I don't know, I think it was Ben, the one that said with some ideas about chaos and stuff like that. Uh, preparing the meeting we have later. <laughs> so sorry for copy paste and then at the end because I don't know where to put them on the current document because it's a mix between our ideas, chaos ideas, Lumar Lab ideas, Perceval ideas. So I'm getting lost there, 
So I'm pasting there, but they are mainly related with ideas about improving the current websites with more information. Um, by websites, I mean a Grimoire Lab website. I think it's mentioned also in the top of the document. But I think it should be included in information about how to install the thing, uh, the current architecture descri uh, description of Grimoire Lab. I'm thinking of Grimoire Lab here. Also, uh, improvements on, on some documentation on Grimoire Lab components. So basically, uh, anyone should be able to go there and it's a basic this, uh, documentation about how it works. And if it's not there, then we should explain and it should be able to be documented. So if a person is not able to understand how it works, probably it's an issue in the, in the component itself. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know, that's, that's a bunch of ideas I've been thinking about, like new hashtag UI or new ideas to improve the UI or, or even feedback about or use cases or better documentation. I think the documentation in the current hashtag repository, as far as I know, is not aligned with the current UI, for example. And I think nobody has taken a look at it. So if someone is just basically is able to first ask, are you able to run this? If it's not, then we can work on fixing that. We, by we, we mean the mentee and the mentors. We can work on that. And once you have it running, okay, the documentation is saying what is happening or not. It's not, again, we, the mentors and the mentees, should be able to fix that. And this is how I see it proceeding. So any human being, doesn't matter the age, should be able to follow the procedure. I don't know, what do you think? Enrique, the document you are talking about is, is a Google Drive one, right? Pasting thing at the end. So just so everybody knows too, I'm putting the template at the top for the wiki. So when you are writing these down, could you please get them all in, I'll fix the template up there, but into this proper format so that when I paste them into the wiki, I don't have to spend <laughs> so much time <laughs> getting them into the proper template. Okay, so I, I, I will try to do that. Thank you, Matt. I, yeah. I haven't seen the template at the beginning. I, I will. You know, I just, I pulled it out of the wiki page, so this should work. I'll, I'll fix it up a little bit. Well, I have a silly question. Is there any list of uh, categories or basically we can create the categories we need? I, there was the list that was in, um, I'll put it in here again, um, but it was the example tasks. I don't think there's a list to your question, but do you see that link that I just put in there? Yeah. So, so this was kind of, these were examples and they do kind of categorize them. Yeah, I'm worried about how to categorize creating a visualization in a Kibana dashboard because it's not coding at all. So I'm not sure what categories should I use. Wow, we, we have we have tasks such such as adding support for Rocket Chat to to Perceval. Wow, <laughs> this is not as small at all. Yeah, but this was at the beginning when we didn't know exactly what was the idea. But now, yeah, these things are going to be removed. I mean, are at least simplified a lot. Uh, I have a question about. Uh, who would like, I mean, who would like to mentor? I mean, who would like to be a mentor? Yeah, because in the list I see that uh, we are just uh, uh, five. So 
So uh, I don't know if someone uh, would like to be listed there. I will be uh, interested. But, uh, yeah, sure. So uh, I'll add your name and uh, that's great. Thank you. Um, I, I'm also in. Cool. Great. Uh, the, so the, one of the uh, main problems of being a mentor, uh, I mean, I read in the, in the let's say, in the uh, duties, responsibilities that a mentor has, we should answer in less than 24, 24 hours when they answer, then when they ask questions. And the other thing is, uh, some part of the GCI will be during Christmas time, so during the yeah, end of the year, beginning uh, of the next year. So this is uh, something that, for this is, if we are a lot, if we are a lot of mentors, I think there is no problem because we can uh, deal with these uh, uh, small issues. Um, so just this. And then I don't know, Matt, if you would like to be one of the org admins, in a sense, take care of uh, like uh, synchronizing. Uh, I am not going to mentor on this one, but I will watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it help. But I think being an official mentor, I'll pass this time. Okay. Uh, okay. Where is the mentor list to write our names, please? So the met, were you asked, what are you asking, Armstrong? The, if I have to, if I want to write my name down as a mentor. Oh, I think you're already out there. Yeah, yeah. I wrote your name. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Armstrong, do you have the chat? That light out there. Somebody else just put it in there too. So, for this. Right. Okay. So, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, the main the main issue we have now is that we should have a list and we are not clear about what we should do, right? I mean, we have we have very little time and we should have something simple. We, sh we should have around no less than 20 tasks, I guess. So if this is, is, if this is the context, my proposal is to go for the simplest, for the simpler tasks. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, if we agree with the, let's say, the idea of the tasks that should be like generic and not too complex and so on, at the end we can easily uh, have like uh, plenty of, uh, of ideas. Then uh, the, we can like, uh, I mean, this, uh, from what I understand, this is the moment of having ideas. And then for the tasks, we can have just like a bunch of them, maybe five, ten, and then uh, we can start like uh, thinking about more tasks. But it's really good to have like a generic task that we can really potentially uh, use to um, to address plenty of uh, of uh, CGI students. Yeah, and I'd, I'd recommend to the the simpler set of tasks right right out of the gate. I think is this is the first time we've done this. So I think when we did Google Summer of Code, we've done it a few times now. I think we were more complex and more robust the second time through just because we had understood the kind of the workflow the first year so there may be value in keeping it relatively simple this time around yes i mean it sounds like a good idea i mean i agree with you and with Okay, so next thing is we should have this written by probably today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> today or tomorrow the latest, but we have the, the meeting about this uh, just after this one. So I'm not sure how do you want to, to do this, guys? Maybe we could just get the the format that Matt uh, pasted on top of the document and start writing the the tasks we have 
I was, I was mm -hmm. actually doing that. Yeah. So we can also use the next hour to do this. In the sense, is uh, uh, I mean, we can start, and uh, I mean, at least at the, at the end, I think with one hour, if we are uh, six, eight, six people, or maybe more, then, I mean, then be easy to add like uh, uh, some simple idea. Well, yeah, some example. Yeah, so I see here we have personal tasks that are basically two personal tasks. And then we have graph ideas, which is just a pointer to a, an issue. And then this misc ideas with the rest. So maybe if we want to split this by project, we should start by separating this MISC in the different projects we have as long as we have at least one task for that project. Uh, okay, but um, we should uh, use the format that is on top of the of the document, right? Yeah, I mean, for instance, we can do something like, I'm adding now, seal ideas here. So what's this format? Title two, sorry. So we can do something like this. If we have ideas for sigils, yes. Copy this from here. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, well, maybe the format should be Grimoire Lab sigils or something like that if we want this split by project and then here we will have something like you're saying here and there and whatever where are you saying that because i don't see any change in the document it's just there. above misc ideas in the document in the chaos hci 2019 2020 document bottom of page six. Also for your activity names, can you give them an activity name instead of activity one, activity two, and activity three? Yeah, I'm totally yes. right about yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just for descriptive purposes to help people. <laughs> That's all. So Matt, when, when you would like to have this uh, done? So uh, like uh, later uh, day, like in two hours, three hours? Yeah, I just sent uh, Avic and Till an email. I'm hoping we can get it till tomorrow. I'm sure they're fine. I don't know. Maybe, I hope they're fine with it. I shouldn't say I'm sure. But okay. I was still able to edit the wiki, so they haven't like locked it down. So that's a good sign. <laughs> I mean, if you can put closure to this by the end of your meeting, you know, the next hour, that would be great. And then just somebody, somebody send me an email and a link back to this document and I'll just cut and paste it. And then I'll put it in the wiki and then I'll, I'll let everybody know that it's in there and you could take a look and if you see anything that is bad or whatever, then just tell me and I can fix it. Okay. Yes. Then what do you think about uh, all this? I'll do that. I'll I'll send a mail to Matt. And we, I mean, later we can maybe talk with lots of the other uh, people and see how it's organized. I mean, at the end you are going yeah, to be sure. one of the other admin. Yeah. And sure. it would be good to find also, I mean, at least uh, one another one, uh, maybe another okay. student. So at least you are not alone. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll do the wiki thing uh, in the doc and then send the mail to Matt. Okay, great. Thanks. Here, I actually have some information from Till. 
So there, take a look at that email that I just put in there. See that in the chat? So it gives a little detail on categories, just how to structure these. So the okay, no problem means that we have till tomorrow. Okay. Great. And then take a look at that wiki page so that the tasks are posted like the first three for open printing. Let me take a look at that. Do you see open printing on there? So they have a beginner task, the category, and the deliverable. So they want a little bit more than what's at the bottom there, like what I had put in. I have a look to Mordred, which is one of the components of Remote Lab, and it's not that easy to, to find such a small task for, for newcomers. <laughs> yeah, I think we have to forget about Mordred, yeah. yeah. But this is this is where I can I can I can contribute the most, so this is why I was having a look. Yeah, maybe as task. the task. Sorry. Make more useful for Understandable for anyone. <laughs> yeah, but then they may need a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for instance, for more uh, just checking that uh, the header, the list of authors in the in the file is linked with uh, what is reported by by GitHub. So this guy, this kind of task is nice because uh, you have to clone the repo, uh, execute a git command to see to get the the address, uh, the email of the committer. And then add it to the uh, to the file. I mean, you can also use the GitHub uh, interface, but this could be like a task that maybe a student that is not familiar with Git uh, may need uh, maybe thirty minutes, one hour, and this can be applied to all the repos. Hmm. Another idea could be to to clone all the repos and to to use one of the tools uh, like like uh, Ninka and the one you're using Valerio to to get the licenses. To make sure we are all in Grimoire Lab using GPL3, for instance. Yes, yeah, this is uh, like all tasks that are kind of uh, installing something uh, small and uh, check this or, uh, hmm. uh, or write a script that does what you said, or even to, I mean, just cloning a script that clones the, all the reports of Grimoire Lab. This could be good for us when we want to have um, a development environment uh, locally. So now the people that join the uh, they have to do generate their own script. We could have like a script that is done by a student. It's not difficult, it's something that we, we know how to do it. And you need like maybe three, four git commands. So therefore it's you could help because uh, it's part of automation and yeah, I know. Okay, so that thing that I posted from open printing, that should be helpful enough. I guess follow that. And I assume you got the link to the different types of categories as well. Coding, documentation, training, outreach, research, quality assurance, and design. So pick, it looks like you can pick one or more of those for each particular task. And then it does look like the one thing to add as well beyond the description of the task is the deliverable. Because I, I have a sense looking at the GCI thing page that these tasks are ultimately evaluated at the end by the mentors. And there's some sort of 
award or victory that's achieved based on how well they delivered what they were supposed to deliver. So I think that's important as well. So for example, if it's, I mean, I think a deliverable could be um, screen captures of the work that they were doing. Um, it could be, you know, obviously code snippets. It could be accepted pull requests on new documentation, whatever it might be. And just something for you to, I would think, really pretty easily evaluate that they did the work that they were asked to do. I would try not to overcomplicate the deliverables for Matt, we do not we will not be using uh, platforms like GitHub or any other document uh, platform that we could also trace the track to your progress. It, it could. I think the tasks could include GitHub. They might be a little bit more complicated. But I think any way to evaluate, even if it was, I don't know. I mean, it could be in GitHub or it could just be in a, a PDF document that suggests a change to a markdown file. But that's all, that's for, up for all of you to decide. Not me. Um, so, okay, I'm going to drop off here for a second. Um, I guess one of the things, Venu, for you is if you can make sure all of these are in the right format and maybe like identify if there's like, ideas that you don't want me to put in the, maybe cl clearly identify like all the ideas in this block of text or what you want posted in the wiki. You know yeah. what I mean? It's super clear that I can just cut and paste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then if I can do that, then if you can just get these done by tomorrow, you know, say yeah, 24 sure. hours from now, that's yeah, more yeah. than enough time for me to get them in. So. Yeah. Let's even get them. All right. Thanks. I'm going to drop off for just a bit. See you, everybody. See ya. Okay, so I was trying to write one idea in on the document. I see uh, Rory Manriquez writing a lot of them on top. So I have a question. The question is, do we have to separate Grimoire Lab by project? Grimoire Lab ideas by project, I mean, do we have chaos, Grimoire Lab, Sigils, chaos, Grimoire Lab, Percival, and so on, or do we have all the ideas under Grimoire Lab? No idea. Sorry, please, I got some break, uh, breakdown on the line. Can you come again, please? I'm sorry about that. Yeah, don't worry. The, the thing is, do we have all the ideas under the title Chaos Grimoire Lab? And then just writing everything there, no matter what the project is? Or do we prefer to have titles like Chaos Grimoire Lab Sigils, Chaos Grimoire Lab Percival, Chaos Grimoire Lab whatever, and group the ideas uh, under those? Uh, titles. In the first case, we are going to have a lot of ideas on the remote lab. In the other case, we are going to have around maybe five, ten ideas for each project. I think if we go on project wise, it will be more inclusive. I don't know. Because Grimo Lab is also part of the project, uh, like the kiosk, right? Or maybe I don't. I do not get you well. Yeah, yeah. Well, the idea is we are going to be for sure under Chaos Grimoire Lab, but I'm asking if we should split that in Chaos Grimoire Lab and then the name of the project to have 
like groups of 10, five ideas per project. So if someone is interested in a particular idea, it's clear that uh, uh, this idea belongs to a specific project. I don't think we should split into the specific components of Grimoire Lab. Okay. Because first of all, if you do that, you are asking to the people reading the document or the proposal what that component is about. And at least in, in Chaos community, we are only listing Grimoire Lab, Agur, Credit, and other projects. So basically, if you are interested in a Grimoire Lab, you have all these ideas. Yeah, I think and I agree with you. Otherwise, it's okay, Grimoire Lab, Percival. What's Percival? I don't know even what's Percival. So I'm going to skip this because then I need to understand what's Percival about. And I think I agree with Marie. People read that. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good idea to have like everything in uh, uh, under just Grimoire Lab. Then if needed, we can add, as you said, Alberto, like something uh, specific for the repository. So, like, uh, uh, guys what do you think about this idea uh, uh, we will ask we will ask the student to get all the repos execute one of the tools uh, which measures the complexity the code complexity one of them which is uh, uh, radon r-a-d-o-n and if the complexity is one of the of the of the biggest uh, they have to open a, a, a back report in the in the repository. It is something that you think uh, is good for this case. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, it's good. In the sense, is uh, everything that is can, is simple and doesn't require too much effort for installing things. I guess it's okay. Then, I mean, we can have like plenty of ideas. Maybe there will be ideas that are more uh, attractive because uh, these students, they look for something uh, really easy to, to, to take. Uh, maybe if we see that uh, some ideas are too complex, we can just uh, split them in smaller ideas. So for instance, uh, first, one, first part is cloning the repo and then the other task would, could be uh, take a repo and uh, execute, uh, no, I mean, even click uh, eight could be okay or whatever and yes uh, another uh, things that they were discussing the gci um uh, tool they would say that uh, some some mentors they try to create uh, a sustainable process in the sense that you ask the students as you said to create uh, two issues and then you ask other students to fix at least one issue that has not be open by a mentor you know in this way the the issue they create they are solved by other people and this help uh, us to balance the workload uh, we could have however it's also that we are not really a big organization so maybe we will not receive uh, too many students Should, should we move to the other uh, uh, Zoom uh, call? Is that six? No, it's not at six. No, it's, uh, it's in three minutes. Yeah, I guess they're going to join us. Yeah. Uh, run, uh, run. <laughs> yeah, because they are going, to, this link is going to be used by the weekly chaos meeting, no? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so we have to go, we have to go elsewhere. I have two open at the same time. I did this this morning and I'm going to repeat it in the afternoon. My name is going to explode. <laughs> okay, see you in the other one. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye, take care. Yeah.
Hey, Ray. All right. Hey, how are you? Good. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a few minutes here. Hello, hello. Hey, John. Uh, get to join for about 15 minutes before I got to run off and do, you know, my regular work. So. Okay. Hey, did you, do you guys have the communication? I'm going to stop this for a second.